So I had a conversation today uh, with some folks about the AirPro gun and about how it regulates atomizing air, which I found interesting because the gun itself does not regulate atomizing air. So I thought, what an opportunity to do a quick video and talk about the operation of the AirPro air spray gun. So first thing I want to talk about is needle travel. Um, this is the trigger and that pulls the needle off of the seat in the front of the gun. This right here is an adjustment knob so you can restrict this travel. You really only want to use that when you're doing cut-ins or doing some touch-ups. During normal production, when you pull this trigger back, you want it full open. And the way you determine full open is you pull this back, you start adjusting that in. When you feel pressure on the trigger or when the trigger starts moving forward, then you turn this back half a turn. That gives you full production. All right, the other piece here is that packing nut. When you tighten that, um, you tighten it by hand and then tighten it another quarter to a half a turn with a wrench. That's gonna give you the proper seal and it's not gonna let this trigger hang up. The other thing we have in the bottom is this restrictor valve. This is an air restrictor, air in, air restriction. The problem with this is it's not a regulator. Let's go look at this cutaway over here and you can see this is the restrictor that we were talking about. It just goes up and restricts air right here. When you pull this trigger back, that opens the air valve right there. So you get a dynamic and a static airflow going. Right now you have static air pressure. When you pull the trigger, it settles into a dynamic air pressure and the air just goes all the way out to the front of the cap. All right. If you're not regulating your air and you're only relying on this, when you're triggering the gun, you're getting static, dynamic, static, dynamic, static, dynamic. So you get this ever-changing airflow to the gun, not a regulator. Best solution, open that wide up, put regulated air here and regulate the air off of an air regulator. All right. Um, the only other thing left on this gun is the top pattern right here. That's a pattern adjust. You can actually control the size of the pattern from an elliptical pattern down to a round size pattern with that adjustment knob. Hopefully that clears up uh, any uh, misunderstanding about air regulation through the cheater valve, not an air regulator. Best solution, open it up, put a uh, controlled regulated air to the inlet of the gun. For more information on this gun or any other gun, visit us at www.graco.com.